New here at five new video shows panicked people in Highland Park running into a business as shots were being fired into the crowd outside. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live in Highland Park and Sabrina you spoke to the business owner who shared that video. Joe, Erica, as the days go on, we're learning more and more of the acts of heroism that happened here on July 4th. Small businesses whose actions that day were anything but small. I feel like I was just well, well placed at a really awful time. A stream of strollers, panicked parents, shots fired just next door. Matt Phillips had his doors open. Images kind of start coming back and you start remembering just sort of what you saw. Linford Winery just opened this tasting room a month ago, just next to the parade route. They were serving on Monday morning. It's an opportunity for us to engage with members of the community. Welcoming Highland Park in for mimosas. It was right about that time when we heard the gunshots, followed by what seemed like just an endless stream of strollers and parents and other parade goers. Um, just running through the store. Never expecting to serve as a safe haven. Basement, um, storage area, the office. Hiding about 40 people, kids and adults, caught on camera running inside. We locked the door and um, just kind of waited and sat there in disbelief for a while. Now, two days later, that same community is coming in for a glass of wine. Let me get over here. To say thank you. Here, I appreciate it. That's the part that's overwhelming. Because I, all I wanted to do was just get people in here and keep them safe. For comfort, for conversation, for community. There's some life after this that, that you know, we, we can look forward. This winery reopened its doors just today, but just a remarkable example about how even though today they're trying to give this community a sense of normalcy in reality, they gave Highland Park so much more. We're live in Highland Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Well, you learned so much more about the impact there, Sabrina, when you hear these firsthand accounts. Uh, a powerful story for sure. Thank you.